everybody, welcome to this week's plan with me. Um, this kit doesn't have a name because it's a bunch of mixed shops. So I will tell you those. So I have glitters from Lucinda Charlotte. Double box from Harriet Wright Designs. She called this kit Wish. I also have the headers, sidebar boxes and some deco from Harriet Wright Designs and the bottom washi and washi strips. Then I have the full boxes from Sticker Bear Shoppy. I will not be ordering from this shop again, I had a terrible time with my order. These are the half boxes and uh, three checklist boxes, flags and teardrops. Uh, these are the ombre heart checklists. Those are from Project Plan. Headers and little things from Project Plan. Uh, small half boxes, headers, weekend banner. This sheet is also from Project Plan. Um, so that is all of the kit. Um, sticking down some of my glitters and the kit, I do have some Q&A questions to answer and then I will speed through. So I have my Q&A questions here. I'm just going to place down all my kit while I do this. Here I'm just sorting out the bits that need to be placed down first. Um, so I have a few questions from Kim, who is the owner of the Punk, the Punk Planner. Her first question was, um, my favourite planner system. Well, I do have two. I have my recollections, which is this planner here. Um, this stays on my desk. It has everything in it that I need to know to do through the day. And then I also have a pocket size TN that I like to use on the go. Don't worry, I will be having a video up on my TN in a few weeks. Uh, next, she asked best planning accessories. Um, again, I have a couple here. Uh, stickers would be the one, obviously, for decorating my recollections. Um, best accessory for my TNs would obviously be charms and clips. Trends I love and hate. Uh, trends at the moment are I love TNs. Only problem is I would have a thousand of them but don't have a use for them. I love the size of a B6 but it's not very practical for carrying around and that's what my TN planner is mainly for. It's for on the go so the smaller the planner the smaller the handbook. Um, trends I hate. I don't really think there's any I hate. I mean, well no, there isn't actually. Um, if I do think of any, then maybe I will slot it in or write it in the description box below. But no, I don't think there's any trends I hate. Um, I have some questions from Francesca Loban. Luban, sorry, I'm terrible with surnames. Um, she is very well known in the UK Planner Addicts group over on Facebook. Um, she asks my what are my go-to shops. Um, for normal stickers like sticker kits and that would be Your World of Colour and not because I PR for her but I do love Carly's stickers. They're just the right amount of stickers. I'm not wasting any because they all get used. Um, and next would be Lucinda Charlotte. Uh, for inserts, it'd be the Punk Planner. Not, and again, not because I PR for her. I have used tons of inserts from different shops before, but her inserts seem to be the best and the best value for money as well. Uh, as far as character stickers go, uh, the Coffee Monsters Co and at the moment I'm loving stickers from Fluffy Maru Designs. Uh, she also asks what my first sticker purchase was. 
um, it was from a shop called Tallulah something which is no longer available because this was back in 2015 and it was for some kits for when I very first started using stickers in my planner and the planner I using then was a classic happy planner um, other hobbies I have apart from planning uh, crafting doing activities with the girl sorry I got cut off there for some reason and I also like going round doing Pokemon Go who is still obsessed with Pokemon Go planner pet peeves um, I don't really have any of those either apart from on videos it does do my head in a bit when I do apologize my oldest daughter keeps coming in and out of the room um, I don't really have any planner pet peeves, I'll probably get some hate for this but sometimes in videos it does get annoying when somebody puts a header down or a sticker and they keep picking it up and placing it down and you sat there and you're thinking it still looks the same and it looked fine when you first put it down um, Planner Idol um, For planning like this, like I do it would be Andrea who owns the shop Scribble Prints Co and also does planner videos through the Scribble Prints Co YouTube and for non-stick related and using a TN or ring bound planner just for normal planning would be my, f my friend and fellow PR lady for your world of colour is Sam Alderson. I love her planner spreads and her writing. I just wish I could plan like that. Um, do I meal plan? No, I don't, but I do like to keep a, sometimes I do put a box down my sidebar to mark what meals my girls have had at school because they have school dinners. It's just so I know I don't cook the same at home that evening. Um, oh, nearly finished the first half. I've put all my boxes down, just doing the sidebar, and I need to do the headers. So um, I don't have any more questions, um, anything else to talk about really. Um, this week is going to be full on cleaning and house back in order from the kids being home for the Easter holidays. They go back to school on Monday. Um, nothing else planned for this week really. So I will speed through the rest of this and I will catch you at the um, when I start putting my functional down. going to speed through this but I've done my voiceovers on two separate days and I've had another lot of Q&A questions so I thought I'd add them in. Um, these questions are also from a fellow PR girl on the Your World of Colour team. Uh, these are from Beth and she asked what are my must-have stickers in sticker kits um it'd probably have to be the boxes that you can write in like the half and quarter boxes 
Um, sometimes shops only give you a couple and I have to pull them in from leftover kits and stuff so half and quarter boxes and obviously the deco boxes as well she also says um, what's my what can't I go without in a planning routine and that'd probably be my pre-plan what you don't see in this in these videos is off to the side I have a normal standard planner where I pre-plan so I don't know what's going on in the week and then I write it down in this planner uh, which pens are my favorite to write with um, at the moment I have a galaxy gel type pen that I bought from the punk planner um, I didn't for it being a bog standard pen as well it does actually write on glossy stickers and if it's not that it's just a normal black Stadler fine liner pen how has my planning changed well when I first started planning I had a happy planner and I tried to do no white space but now I don't mind a bit of white space it's quite hard trying to fill the whole column in with stickers when sometimes you don't know if you're going to add more or not um, I never used to use character stickers they always used to be normal functional stickers and I used to use washi a lot and now I hardly use washi at all so I think that is for questions um, if anybody does have any more questions you're welcome to write them in the comments below and I will add them in my next plan with me um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this off um, I can't speed through it because obviously I record these on my phone and I haven't got a proper program yet for editing my videos um, I'm waiting for my partner to put it on my PC for me um, so I'll just add music over this um, you can skip through to where I actually place the functional bits if you wish um, and I will see you at the end of the video
Right, that's all the kit placed down. I then move on to my functional stickers. I'm just going to get my pre plan with me ready and all my character stickers. I'm going to get a Fluffy Maru Designs sticker out that says I hate Mondays and also a Hello Monday sticker from Your World of Colour. I'm then going to place a half box from the kit along with a sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co to mark that the girls go back to school. As you can see off to the side that's my planner I use for pre-planning. If you'd like a video on that please let me know in the comments and I will get that done. I then get a coffee sticker from Willow Water Co and a quarter box to mark that I'm going to meet my mum. And I'm also going to take a YouTube sticker from Peaceful Mind Designs to mark that my plan with me goes up on Monday. Moving on to Tuesday, I use one of my cleaning stickers from the Plump Planner. I also get a filming sticker from Fluffy Marrow Designs to mark that I want to film my TN setup for you. I also take a quarter box for anything that comes up and a Hollyoaks sticker to mark that I need to catch up on Hollyoaks. On to Wednesday, I take a, another half box and then a Instagram sticker from Stationery Haven Co. to mark that I want to do some Your World of Colour promoting. I also take another filming sticker to mark that I want to mark finishing my TN setup just in case I don't get to do it all in one day and another cleaning sticker. That's it for the first half. Moving on to the second half of the week. 
I'm going to get out one of my payday stickers from Peaceful Mind Designs to mark that it is payday. I'm then going to take out a shopping sticker from Lucinda Charlotte to mark that I want to do my online shopping order. I take a rent sticker from Your World of Colour. This is the last one on the sheet so it looks like I need to order some more. I then take a TN sticker to mark that I need to order some new inserts for my TN. And I also get out a Hollyoaks sticker from Your World of Colour to mark that I want to watch Hollyoaks. Sometimes I don't watch it every night. I'll watch a couple. Moving on to Friday. I take out my Friday sticker from Stationery Haven Co and my Friday script word from Your World of Colour. I take a cleaning sticker to mark that I want to clean my eldest daughter's room. And then I take a half box and layer it with a Instagram sticker from Stationery Haven Co. To mark that I want to do promotion for the Punk Planner. I then get out a film and edit sticker from Peaceful Mind Designs to mark that I need to film my plan with me and edit my TN setup. On to Saturday, there isn't much. I take a Britain's Got Talent sticker and a sticker from the Petite Paula to mark that I'll be seeing my mum. On to Sunday, I take out one of the three heart checklists from the kit in case there's anything I want to do on Sunday. I take one of the editing stickers from Peaceful Mind Designs to mark that I need to edit my plan with me and then I take a unicorn laundry sticker and a unicorn bath sticker from your world of colour to mark that I need to wash the girls uniforms and that it's a big pamper bath night ready for when they go back to school on Monday. That's it for this week, thank you for watching, don't forget to give this a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and click the notifications so you see all my videos. Keep me warm